Hi, now today what we will discuss is what is biomedical engineering. So today <clears throat> we want to understand the sub-disciplines of biomedical engineering with examples. So we will cover uh, the following order. Physiological modeling, biomechanics, bioinstrumentation, biomedical imaging, and biomolecular imaging and biotechnology, systems biology, and bioinformatics. Continued from last time, these are the list of subspecialties of biomedical engineering. And there are several examples I, um, that I covered a little bit. So as a first topic, I want to introduce about physiological modeling. So this is understanding and prediction of system behavior by use of mathematical models of the physiological systems. So for example, we would like to model blood flow in a vasculature or vascular network. Or we also want to uh, model the networks of chemical reactions within the cell. So even single cell, inside the cell, there are inputs from outside of the signal. Uh, and inside the cell, there is nucleus. And with respect to various information, catch it from the outside. And it will generate uh, expression profile of gene. And, and this chemical reaction is so complicated. But our knowledge now is trying to understand these chemical biochemical reactions inside the cell so that we can maybe target cancer cells more effectively. And the last one as an example of modeling of angiogenesis, or we call it as a neovascularization in tumor growth. So angio, which is in here, means blood, and genesis means a new formation. So angiogenesis allude as when cancer or tumor grows, they require to uh, oxygen and nutrient supply. So they secrete factors which will grow blood vessels from existing vessels. So this new vascular growth is called angiogenesis. And physiological modeling allows us to even model this process. Let's say here, this I brought as an example as from tumor, when the tumor grow and secrete factors, uh, which were new growth, allow new growth of the blood vessel to feed the tumor. So we can have computational modeling of 3D tumor growth and angiogenesis. And even for chemotherapy, which is a chemical treatment, to stop the growth of the tumor, that evaluation we could use. So here, uh, this concept of uh, cancer and tumor growth and the relationship with the uh, blood vessel uh, gave us an insight how to treat cancer. So if the tumor growth depends on the new blood vessel formation to feed the tumor, one idea or hypothesis is we may stop the blood growth or angiogenesis, we may stop the tumor growth. So this is a famous so-called anti-angiogenic therapy hypothesis. So this is a little idea, but a million dollar hypothesis. If we stop new vessel growth, we may stop tumor growth. That the first a new drug called Avastin, which is anti-VEGF antibody drug, uh, which has been approved with a combination of other uh, chemotherapy drugs to stop or to treat tumors. So in that aspect, uh, anti-angiogenic is a, a great concept to combat against a cancer. Now, is there any other situation when the angiogenic growth may be promoted? For example, let's say someone uh, suffers from ischemic uh, heart disease. Um, 
we may want a new vessel growth to help the organ which is affected by ischemia, which is a loss of blood supply, adequate blood supply to the tissue. So in that case, we can call it as a pro-angiogenic therapy. Now, as a second example, uh, here I put um, uh, this airway. So here you can see, you have to be familiarized yourself with these, some of the terminologies of anatomy. So this is a trachea and there's a right bronchus and left bronchus. It's called left main bronchus and right main bronchus. You can see there are big lobes are a little asymmetric and from here, uh, from the throat, gladius and trachea and left main bronchus. So modeling of these air flows in the bronchi can be important for some patients. So evaluating breathing patterns for patients with different lung diseases and quantifying the extent of disease in a particular patient may be important. So here we use a physiology and engineering approaches to model this and solve a fluid mechanic problem so that you can see these a velocity map, which is a vector map, and even the speed can be color coded at different time and compute impedance, boundary condition, constant pressure boundary condition, etc.